All right. Um, could you say something about uh, where the mafia gets most money from? It used to be in one period from alcohol prohibition. It is from drugs now, uh, from prostitution, from, uh, but also it is from shareholds, uh, shareholding and from financial profits. And what about the future, about technology? Uh, the globalization and new technology changed uh, the face of organized crime, and now the major criminal organizations are uh, using Internet to invest uh, their uh, uh, proceeds uh, of uh, crime uh, or to wash their money. Um, I believe uh, uh, that uh, still uh, the drug trafficking is the main uh, source of income uh, for uh, criminal organization like Cosa Nostra or like the Drangheta, but they have a lot of opportunity. Now we're uh, dealing with the uh, recycle of uh, dangerous uh, uh, garbage, uh, traffic of human organs. Now they're using a diamond instead of money to purchase narcotics. Those type of organizations are local and global at the same time. That's their strain. The fact that they are continuing to control some territories, but at the same time they are able to build a network and to invest the profit of crime in legitimate business. You mentioned about investment in the stock market. Last year, a report of the German intelligence service underline the heavily investment of the Drangheta in a company called the Gazprom, and uh, that was uh, only one sector of the German economy uh, where the Drangheta heavily invested uh, its profit. Uh, in, since 1993, uh, the Drangheta is investing uh, billions of uh, euro in uh, Germany, and uh, up to the present, uh, no one uh, has expressed uh, any kind of uh, concern. Uh, everyone in Germany was aware that Drangheta was uh, uh, investing its profit there, but uh, I don't understand why they are surprised now. Uh, unfortunately, if the organized crime groups work uh, underground, uh, they are, uh, they're not representing a threat. they becoming a threat only when they start to uh, shooting uh, and be uh, more violent. Uh, but I think this is the, the uh, wrong way to approach uh, criminal organizations. Criminal organizations are dangerous either when they invest their money without the use of violence. And I think uh, uh, Europe uh, should uh, create uh, a more cooperation uh, between countries and to uh, be more concerned uh, and to try to uniform the legislation in order to tackle them everywhere. Otherwise, uh, they will always find a weak spot to move uh, their resource and their money, and uh, if uh, this will be the trend, I think the future uh, will belong uh, to them and not to law-abiding citizens like me and you. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your opinion then, if you have a personal opinion, about the state's position, about the government's route the last century? Because also in the United Nations there was a, uh, a movement into uh, ever lower uh, degrees of uh, oversight of financial uh, uh, transports and uh, in, in uh, searching for criminality. For instance, there was a move from, uh, uh, for instance, there was uh, before everybody, uh, they were searching for any activity that was criminal. Now they are searching for people uh, that are uh, uh, involved with criminal affairs and no longer searching for activity and then connect to the people, th those activities. How do you view uh, this in your personal view? I uh, believe that uh, the United States has uh, uh, the best uh, legislation in dealing with organized crime, and, and I refer to the uh, 
RICO uh, statute. Uh, but of course, uh, uh, it's questionable. It's questionable the way that uh, the Americans are dealing with the uh, narcotics, uh, uh, with the drug trafficking. Uh, uh, the so-called uh, Plan uh, Colombia was a failure because if you want to uh, burn uh, the cocaine plantation in Colombia, you have to provide an alternative source of income for the farmers, for the campesinos in, in Colombia. You can uh, be aggressive and thinking that uh, you will solve uh, uh, the social uh, root of uh, a problem. But also, now, uh, I think... Uh, uh, after 9-11, uh, many criminal organizations had to change their strategy because uh, it's really difficult now to invest money in the United States uh, because uh, uh, the Terrorist Act uh, allow the state to check everything uh, and, uh, and, uh, and to screening everything in terms of uh, financial uh, investment. But sometimes uh, either the Americans uh, are uh, portrayed uh, organized crime as an ethnic problem, like as a problem that is coming from outside. Uh, instead, when we deal with organized crime everywhere, we deal with uh, a group of criminals that um, are able to build a financial and political connection. Sometimes uh, the politicians and uh, uh, broker and the lawyer and the real uh, real estate agent uh, are people that uh, do not share the same ethnicity of the criminals, and uh, and they are the so-called uh, white collars. I think uh, uh, that's it's uh, the gray area where it's very difficult. Uh, to, uh, it's very difficult to investigate that area, and I think uh, that's it's, uh, where uh, all uh, states should put more effort, because without uh, the support of a corrupt politician, without the support of a lawyer, of a broker uh, in the stock market, uh, it w it's very difficult to uh, laundry the proceeds of crime. They can make uh, the country the proceeds of crime. They can um, make uh, a few weeks ago, billions uh, of dollars. A but, few murders, uh, murder of six people happened in Germany and justify that income. Uh, and they need uh, population is again, uh, and from uh, uh, white collars uh, with to uh, invest the, the proceeds of crime. Uh, and I think something more about that is uh, the part where uh, many uh, countries are uh, weak.